NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. From Spectrum Center in Uptown Charlotte, tonight, the Charlotte Hornets taking on the Sacramento Kings. Hornets secure the opening tip as they get the basketball first. We're underway in Charlotte. Now ready with a couple of free throws. You see this all the time. The defensive players establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. Goes down. Two for two on that trip. It's Sacramento ball. Down low for Leonard. Oh, great pass, setting up the basket. Because in certain players' mind, it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not, they're always going to be the giant in the paint. That's going to be out of bounds. To Bagley. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Buddy Heald to Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, two for two. That's what you want. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Leonard. Missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Tough make through traffic. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Has a look. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Throws it down. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. It's the Kings now with the ball. To Leonard. Probing the defense. The drive right to the basket. Short jumper stays out. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Now a whistle, and it's going to be a timeout for Sacramento as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. New blood coming in for both sides. That Hornets have the basketball. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Here comes the screen. Slams it down. 
That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Baseline drive and scores. Okay, I saw a little bit of a handle there, but let's see if that confidence is still there down the stretch. Nothing going here on that drive. Slams it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. He gets it. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Big slam. Oh, he looked like he was on a mission. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Free throws coming up. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. OG and an OB. Couple of free throws on the way. Not the best career mark, 62%. First try, no good. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. finishes at the rim he's been doing this for years the physicality in which he plays no one wants to see that you're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body and a chance coming up at the line okay hacking does still exist might be setting the tone for the second half here Misses the first. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. Everybody has your head. Rogier with it. It's an eight point lead. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself. That's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. The pass set it all up. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Hornets at the controls of this one. I got you. I got you. Big finish at the rim. inside the arc at the buzzer first half in the books the Hornets out in front halftime report all right back to the second half I'll see you after the game Kings have the basketball to Bagley Kawhi Leonard 
And a put-back slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Nothing going here on that drive. To Leonard. No, I missed a short one there. Kawhi Leonard. He's three for seven. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. The free throw, good. And they add one more to the lead. It's up to 11. To Bagley. Here's Leonard for two. Won't go. He needs some luck on his side, given how they're defending. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Kings with the ball. To Bagley. Trying to cash in. Off the mark. Well contested. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. the foul shot. Hornets right now in possession. And look out. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish.
buries it off the step back. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Keep him here, keep him here. Shot from in close, no good. No doubt. Slams it down. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Come here. Come here. Had a chance, but it's no good. Hey, locked up, locked up. Bobby Portis with the block. Just incredible timing on that swap. Gets to the basket and scores. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. The Kings now with four to shoot. Has a chance, that's no good. It down with authority. Deep three at the buzzer. Hornets with the first possessions here in the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet. But with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the bag. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. inside yes and a foul kill of a chance at a three-point play so many times we get on a defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one sometimes there's a lucky bounce but more often than not it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions Good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. He got a piece. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. And he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. down the first. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. Stuffs it down with authority. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. The screen sets him up for two. 
Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. Oh, ferocious slam inside. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch. And that's what we're seeing tonight. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. There you go. Finally, shoot your shot. and slams it down. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To healed. Five on the shot clock for Sacramento. Going to launch beyond the arc. Can't get the bounce. Driving right to the basket. Stuffs it down with authority. I mean, if you have athletic ability like that guy offensively, as soon as you beat your man, if you don't beat him off the ground for the jump, you have no chance. To healed. Screen coming, but he healed. Oh, not a good pass there. That's a turnover. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Stuffs it down with authority. The Kings will use a timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter, and a chance here to empty their bench. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. And score. Strong take. No doubt about where that one was headed. Charlotte with the basketball. Got it. And that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. They'll get it down to Leonard. From the painted area, won't go down. To Rozier. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. These breakdowns happen because a team lacks communication. You have to point towards your man, keep that butt towards the baseline, and make sure you communicate through every screen. Bobby Portis snatching it out of the air. Marvin Bagley with the slam. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Hornets with the victory as they win this one in blowout fashion. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. game wrap-up. The Charlotte Hornets put on a show in a blowout. This was all about points in the paint, and that's without question. How could anyone argue with the kind of execution that results in the highlights like these? The Hornets got their score from the guys you're seeing here on screen. Player of the game. Easy choice for player of the game. No one else made as big of an impact in this matchup. Who was gold? On behalf of Ed Corn and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.